you open this, oh, now you can possibly die. Now the first thing I'm gonna ask you guys, is it okay for you guys to be touched? Yeah. You can say no, but you will be the one who is going to be pointed out. Okay. If something has already attached to you, can you say that and it'll leave? Can you say hello? And it kept peeking out and looking at me. Speak with the spirits of Penhurst. But you're going to open it. If you know that I 100% believe that we have gotten dozens of attachments and we have gotten more and more haunted, or at least I've gotten more haunted, it's so open. What does it say? Is that. Somebody just touched me. What? Somebody just touched me. I'm not leaning against the pillar. Look at the goosebumps on my arms right now, bro. Is there anything evil with us tonight? Do you want them to leave and it just be me and you talking? Welcome back everyone to our 25 week long minimum overnight paranormal abandoned haunted trip around the world. I think we're in week four or five now. I don't even know but there's 25 weeks of these videos and we knew during this trip we had to make a stop back here. Definitely. This is Penhurst Insane Asylum in just outside of Philadelphia. This video here was one of the bizarre ones with the bear that we found that had our first like interactive EMF. We are standing exactly where we ended the last video because he had an inkling to come back and investigate when one more time. it ended, that's right. And the that's stick right. figures were dancing. It was just you and me. Mm -hmm. yep. We had a thermal camera and right there we saw a figure that we couldn't explain. Two, mm. two, two. And they were dancing. Like they were jumping mm. everywhere. This place is right infamous. Right here, this, here. Yeah, right here. Undoubtedly, mm. this place has been confirmed by basically every investigator that has ever come here, absolutely confirmed to have yeah. some form of paranormal activity here. Mm -hmm. So we had to make sure we came back. There was one thing that we mentioned at Execution Rocks that we couldn't figure out what the next step was, right? If we get something, if we get interaction, like what is the next step? I don't even know. I mean, I think that's all you need, you know? Hey, that's what I'm saying. We're just, we're, just, we're, yeah. just trying to, we're just trying to see if anything's going to talk back and then we can leave. Yeah. Well, I just want to make sure we're making progress, and that's not progress. The what's, farthest we got was Spirit Box with the headphones, right? right. So, so what's, yeah. what's happening? So, tonight what, so how seance. do you top it? What? Wait, what? Uh, that's what he said. Yeah, wait, I wait, 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 no, wait, 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 we talked real? about it. We talked about it last night. No, we didn't. Yeah, we were doing it tonight. We didn't say that. No, we no. never. That had was this never. But we, well, we all said we need to figure out what that next thing is. Who's gonna do it? And then I was in the spirit box by myself, and it said seance. Who's and gonna we do it? We talked about it. So we... I made a bunch of phone calls, and we're doing one tonight. The but first one we've ever done. Don't you need it like a? We are not doing it. Someone is joining us to do. Oh it. no! Okay. I didn't. I'm cool. Those with that. were opposite I'm not reactions. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. No, no, no. Oh, I'm cool no, with that. No, no, no. It's a guided professional that does seances. Yes. So what? She's a medium. What, what is she? What does she say happens if you know? Like I didn't ask any questions. You, you, you don't know. You don't know what happens. I legitimately didn't. I didn't ask any questions. Do we need a at table? All. She's setting up everything right now. Oh, it's oh, happening already. already? What? Oh. oh yeah, this is like one of the first things we're doing. Sick. So, okay. We we all talked about it, and well, we didn't talk I, about it. I didn't know it was tonight. Mm. I thought I had maybe a couple months, you know, yeah. changed my pants a couple times. No. Yeah. No. You can wear that jacket, and it'll probably blend in with like you know, like a little diaper. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, let's do the seance. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we're doing something different tonight. We've never done this before. We've never done a live stream from a location. Yeah. So if you're watching this when this video comes out. Well, the night we were actually here, we did a live stream. So I guess make sure to turn on the notifications and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna go do that. I think the other idea may be, yeah. look how big this place is. Uh-huh. It's huge. And, Jesus. We could no. barely play that uh -huh. in a no. 10 foot. Uh -huh. no. Is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I, I don't wanna do that here. Uh -huh. I think we should do I, that. I don't, it's I don't too much do fun here. not to, we gotta do it. Acres to go find we'll set people. zones. Okay. We'll make it only the first three floors of the building. Maybe you shouldn't. Oh, be yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think we are set up for success for tonight. Yeah. We have everything. We have someone doing a seance. We have two dipping boxes. We have every paranormal tool. Yeah, I brought them. We have every single paranormal Why? tool you could basically imagine. We have every kind of camera you could imagine. Tonight's tonight. All right, well, let's get this started then. Get ready for this video. Right. This is going to be a completely different one. Later. Oh, boy. 
All right, before we go over and meet Deidre, we just want to remind you all that we are, of course, doing a contest right now. We're picking two winners, and we will be flying out to your hometown and bringing you to do an investigation of whatever the most haunted location you might have in your hometown, in your area. You can bring your friends, you can bring your family, whatever you want to do, but we're really excited to make that happen. There's two ways to enter. One is super simple. All you have to do is leave a comment and a like on this video. The other way is to go to SendSociety.com. That's a clothing line that we run, and for every dollar you spend there equals one raffle entry as well. It's a great way to help support us and keep making these videos bigger and better every single time and getting all the gear and the fun stuff that we want to be in having involved in these videos. So oh, yeah. either way, we appreciate the support. Hopefully we'll see you in your hometown. And yes, sir, enjoy the investigation of Penhurst. Well, this is Deidre. Uh, I, I asked Matt, the owner of this place, if he could recommend anyone that could help us with the seance. And then I found out you're like the lead investigator here. Well one beyond. of them. One of them, okay. One of them, yes. By the way, I, I've never done one. I don't really know much about them. Mm -hmm. But everything is telling us that that's basically the next step that we need to make. None of us have done it. Yeah, well, Corey has. A full on <sighs> investigation is probably where you should start, but we can do a seance tonight. That's. See, maybe she fun. says no, maybe no seance. No, We're going to do one. No. There we go. Uh, See, I like her. <laughs> I like her a lot, actually. <laughs> Uh, Geoport. Yeah, okay. Geoport. Oh. So what is that? And what it does is it's almost like your SB spirit box, mm -hmm. but what you're not getting is the radio interference. So your mm. SB spirit box is actually running on radio waves, so yeah. it's picking up on radio. So every once in a while you're going to pick up a musical note, yeah. Yeah. or oh. you pick up the radio itself. Yeah. This does not. Oh. This is it's only words. That this makes is sense. only words communication between you and a spirit. Oh, it does take a little bit longer for you guys to get a response. So when I ask you guys to ask questions, you're gonna stop and you're gonna wait. Okay. And you're gonna get a, either you will get a response or you're going to get a knock or a tap or you're going to be touched. Now the first thing I'm gonna ask you guys is it okay, oh, okay. for you guys to be touched? Yes. I personally don't want to. Can we to. say no? Yes. You can say no, but you will be the one who is going to be pointed out. Okay. Wait. I like Meaning this. that I really what like her. Is that okay. I really so happens, like Deidre. What happens when you say no? Um, you know those tingles that you feel every once in a like while. Right yeah. Now? Like right uh now. -huh. Yeah, yes. I like those Look goosebumps. Okay, so yeah. the goosebumps, the tingles, the, the I don't have those right now. The, the pins and needles. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna feel them more than anybody else. So please all say no. Mm. So this seems like a lose-lose no. lose here. Yeah, pretty much. Either but for I, me, for me, they, it's a win-win. What do you guys I have, so I have to ask permission, to but they are not looking for permission. Can I pick what areas they touch me? Do you think that's why so much stuff happens to me? Because I'm always freaking out the most out of everyone, and yeah. I'm always saying, they no, are I don't want to do that. Most spirits, no matter where you're at, whether you're here or somewhere else, they are going with your energy. Mm -hmm. um, and the more you put out, it's the more they're going to take from you. Okay. Spirits are, are actually taking your physical energy. <sighs> so at the end of a paranormal investigation, you feel extremely drained. Mm -hmm. You allow the spirits to drain your energy. Is that why he always sleeps like four in the afternoon? Yeah. yeah. We all wake up at like 10, 11, he'll sleep just. Because he allows the spirits to take all of his energy, yes. So mm -hmm. all this time I thought you were just being lazy <laughs> and you were just getting drained. But there's nothing wrong with spirits taking your energy in that moment. Like it no. can't harm you or affect you long term, right? No, it does not affect you in the long term unless something steps into you and doesn't leave. Okay. Mm. This place is creepy. All right. Okay. So back to the question. You guys would. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll give I'll, consent. Yeah. Okay. I'll let it touch me. Is I there will, a form I'll that I will sign? Yeah. <laughs> no. Just, no, you just I need give any consent. demon in this room. No, no, no. We're, we're, not, we're not dealing with the demons. Oh, we're not dealing with the demons. We're not dealing with demons. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, then, okay. God. That's no. all you need to see. See, that's why I like you much more than I like him. Yes. Why? <laughs> because why? he doesn't do that. Yeah. I don't do what? He you like, like interact. You like trying to. Yeah, he will try to talk to anything. Anything. There are demons in this world. And there are good spirits, there's bad spirits, there's different kinds of spirits everywhere. And no matter where you go, you're going to run into a demon spirit. Even in your own home, you can run into a demon spirit. Huh. It happens. You're not letting them in, you're not calling them out. We do not provoke here at Penhurst at all. Yeah. I, know, um, I know the rules. I heard, I heard. Oh, you know the rules. Huh? She, she said you don't provoke when, here at Penhurst. We do not provoke oh. here at Penhurst. Okay. It is fine. disrespectful I'll be on my good, I'll be on my good behavior tonight. Okay. Once you start disrespecting the spirits at Penhurst, they stop. Hmm. They give you nothing. They'll still talk to you, but that's it. That's what happened last night. Mm -hmm. We started talking to demons, and as soon as he started saying you know, certain things about demons, no, no. so many things stopped. Well, no, 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 no. That's not true. I had the headphones on. I couldn't hear anything. 
I wasn't saying anything. You guys are the last ones to talk. I said nothing. All I said was what I heard in the spirit box that it's completely untrue. And what you just he said. Yeah. said out loud he was like devil three yeah. to four times. Exactly. And he also box. didn't burn a pentagram or I you know he didn't uh, you know he didn't do I anything do like that. that either. I didn't so. do that. Mm-hmm. We'll follow your lead. Yeah. All right. So I have a couple of pieces of equipment I would like to show you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Things we are, that you guys don't have. Please do. We are genuinely and excited. That you do have. This is so much better when we don't have to just try and like bootstrap what we're trying to figure out yeah. yeah and actually follow the lead of someone else yeah i've been interested in the paranormal my whole life okay so i would investigate in my own home oh okay oh why as a child because there's spirits in my house that's i live with spirits oh yeah. that's how i got that's it. when that's you true. move right to be no, comfortable no, with that when you talk to them. You, that's when you sell exactly. you put your house on zillow and you get out you're already considered like one of the more experienced investigators here right yes so that means you've somehow made leaps and bounds Yes. In your time. Because yes. she's been through a lot of paranormal experience. She's asked me since she was a kid. So what we are also going to do here is we are going to say hello. Mm-hmm. And before you leave, you're going to say goodbye. Yes. Okay. You are entering their home. That makes sense. So before you go in, when you go into somebody's home, you say hello. Mm-hmm. When you leave their home, you say goodbye. Mm-hmm. You know, we were here last year. No one told us that, right? They were yeah. just like, yeah, go, 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 in. Just go, just don't just go, go the romp all through their house. Yeah. Do we take our shoes off? No, you don't have to take your shoes off. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, but I prefer that you guys say hello and goodbye. Yeah, that makes sure. it cool. Definitely. And if you don't want an attachment, there are words you can say, such as, you have no right to enter my body. Okay. You have no right to follow me home. You have no right to leave the property. Mm. Those things you can say if you are feeling an attachment, specifically. Yeah. Um, you can tell them that they have no right to enter your body. They have no right to drain your energy. Um, that's always a good way to stop all of that. But you guys have already given permission to touch you, yeah. right. but not enter you. So you know how you're saying you can say you don't have the right to enter my body or follow me home. Mm-hmm. If something has already attached to you, can you say that and it'll leave? More than likely, you're going to want to try to release that attachment. And do you know how to do that? I do. Penhurst was a school for feeble-minded and, and epileptic. Most of the buildings, such as Mayflower and Limerick and Quaker and Devon, they were all homes. So did a lot of people pass away here? They did. Um, some things happened. Um, I don't like going into detail. Yeah. In the 1920s to the 1980s, there, the med- medical was a lot different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So things that we would find inappropriate now was not inappropriate then because they didn't know. Yeah. yeah. So things did happen here. Bad things happen here. Yes. Okay. Good things happened here as well such as learning that those medical experiments and procedures were wrong, Mm -hmm. and that's why we changed them today. Um, There was just too many of them, not enough staff, not enough funding, Uh, and eventually it got shut down. Wow. All right. So let's take a walk in. Of course. Okay. I'm going to show you a few things here. Yes, this is all empty last time we're here. Yes. Oh. So this is where most of our history is. Oh, this was completely Wow, awesome. this is different. Oh, this is so much better. Jeez. Oh, this is really cool. Look how many pictures there are. Jeez. This is so cool. Last time it was just... Yep. When did you guys start doing this? Um, actually, this year we decided to get things all started and let you guys be able to see the different histories. We have many photos. Wow. 1925. Oh, they had their own currency. What? Mm-hmm. How is that? What? Yeah, dude, I, I love seeing like pictures of like the buildings history. and people of where we're investigating from yeah. back then. Because it really puts in like perspective of like, wow, like this was, a, this was a real And now place. it's a better understanding too of the spirits that you yeah. are communicating with. Well, yeah. you can get, you connect it's, to them. It's a significantly back. more clear picture. So do you guys have a K2? Yes, yes. yes. So you know what the K2 does mm-hmm. and you know what the REM pod does. Yes. yes. Ours is different than yours. Mm-hmm. the fancier one. But I have cat balls. Don't know what those are. Okay, so they look like cat toys. They are oh. actually. <laughs> they cat are cat. Toys. They're cat balls. Oh, they are. Okay. Yes. So what happens is, if you leave it sitting down, they usually don't go off by themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's going off. His voice is back there. Anyway, we'll get to that in just a second. Like, you. <laughs> there are. There's some voices back there. I heard 
okay. whispering. So we're going that way. When they go off, when they're not being touched, it's because something else is touching them. What this does, it just kind of turns on and just sits. And that's just giving them a little extra energy. So that's like a battery for them. That's Pretty like much, yes. Wow, wow. I like that one. But does that mess with the signal sent to the other devices? No, it does not. Okay. And this is the big toy of the night. This we, is the Geoport. We're going to sing karaoke? I thought we were doing karaoke. Yeah, karaoke. You can each grab one. Ooh. I want to play with these. Take the flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, I remember this <laughs> room. Oh, wow. You okay. can sit. Anywhere you want. Every once in a while, I'll be sitting here alone, and the shadow will walk down the hall or across the hall. Me down there. Oh, you want to switch seats? Huh? Or do you want to sit right here? You want to sit on my lap? That one looks like it's taken. Sit on your lap. Yeah. One spirit that likes to communicate with me. His name is William. Those are his toys. Oh. And he doesn't like it when people mess with that. So you will leave them. So I'm gonna be correcting those toys. Now, just to let you know, there is a spirit inside this one. Say that again? There is a spirit inside the one on the side. Wait, which one? Hypothetical. Hypothetical question. There's a spirit inside that. Yes. What would happen if that doll got destroyed? Anger, I'm sure. Hmm. The spirit's inside, so does that mean the spirit's gone now once it's no. destroyed? What is that? You've re got to release the spirit. And where would the spirit go? Probably follow whoever destroyed it. <laughs> Do not destroy the dolls. No, I won't. Alright, let's take this serious. Let's not think about Lando. Which one was she talking about? Do you guys see that? Oh, really? And it, it just stops. It, it, does, it does stop. Right as the camera goes through. It stops on its own. You want me to set another camera at I think we need one. Is it sitting on the ground? Yeah. Why not? Oh. For, for a kid to play, they don't sit in the chairs. <clears throat> Sometimes. I prefer to sit on the floor. Really? Yes. This is why I so like we're it. actually getting down to their level because not only adults were here, but children. Mm -hmm. And even when adults pass away, they can show themselves as a child spirit. Mm. Um, they're going to pretty much show themselves as they were mentally. So, a lot of people here were not mentally full grown. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say hello. Hello? Would you like to communicate with us? If you walk down the hall, you can turn on any one of those little balls. And if you turn them on, we'll be able to see you. And you hear a whole bunch of voices at first. They have to remember that this is what my thing is doing right now is going through the channels faster than you can actually pick it up. Can you say hello? Like, when you were like, you know, when you were like, 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 I just heard William. Is that the name? William is one of the spirits that communicates with me the most, yes. He's in his toys. Yeah. Elton. My name's Corbin. Corey.
Corbin, sit down. What? What? Corbin, sit down. Yeah. Oh. Corbin. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. He said sit. Sit. Do you want to be our friends? What's your favorite toy here? Second, you turned your light on. I think I saw like the really tall, like That's really shadow. Seven foot tall. Yeah, he's about seven foot tall and shadow for him. Oh, why did it say Corey? Yeah. I don't know. What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> Is it because I played the Ouija board? <laughs> oh. Snacky just for fun. There you go. Thanks, Alton. Mm -hmm. No Ouija board. No Ouija board. That. See, about? I like you. Yeah. What about a devil board? I have a demon board. We're going down one. Oh. Let's go. So I can leave you guys down there? No. The whole thing? No. Sure. Sounds no. 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 good. I'm a little scared right now. Nobody peeking at night. Hello? Go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. Just walk down. Say hello. Hello. All right, I guess he's the, good. he's the muscle. That was it, right? That was all we needed. All the way down. <laughs> Can we go down together? No. What? Another time. <laughs> good, I'll see you. I can't do this. It's a hallway. You can't what? It's just a hallway. You can't what? It's just a hallway. Wow, 
That's far. You get three claps. Don't even, don't you even, oh. don't you even think about it. Oh my god. Elton? Elton. There's so many rooms. He's the one that's a skeptic. He's at William's door. He's at William's door? He's at William's Hello. door. Hello. How do you know that? Deidre told me that all the good spirits are here. I'd like to meet you. How, how was your dark walk? It was nice. You know, it's a nice little stroll. I didn't meet any friends though. But you know, there's always next time. It's hard being the new kid at the new school, you know what I mean? That's the home. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Why do they have tunnels underneath? To be able to transport from one location to another. Why wouldn't they just go outside? You like going outside in the winter? I hate winter. Oh, what is that? It's a bed full of toys. Is there a spirit attached to these? No. Have you seen a teddy bear with a missing eye? Oh my god. Oh no. I know, I wasn't trying to say anything. People are very rude. Are we allowed to touch them? Yes, but be very cautious. I really want this to work. People decide to break things. Corey. Guys, I know, I know you're trying to distract yourself, but look what it's missing. I know, I, I don't yeah, want to look at that. Looking at that. Yeah, just a faceless doll. Oh, guys. <laughs> you don't know what we found in the past. Oh, yeah. It's my time to shut up. Elton. Just an Elton. There is a ball in between four and nine. Is it hard to move the balls? Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? What did you hear? You guys didn't just hear that. Yeah, what did you just hear? Good night. Good night. Thank you for going to communicate with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you hear? We both heard it at the exact same time. Yeah. We'll say it at the same time. Ready? All right. One, two, three. It's the devil. He has it around like that. I think maybe it's actually communicating with one of you guys. Maybe it thinks that you guys are being painful and harmful in some way. Not uh, specifically one specific do you person. Think I think there could be one because one. Elton currently has like 15 possessed demonic items with him in the car. Okay. I have two ducks after. Oh, you burned the other ten. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night at the lighthouse, the spirit box said it's the devil. And then again tonight, it said it's the devil. Yeah. It said it like five times at the lighthouse. And it said it when just one person had soundproof headphones on and had no idea what they were answering. They just heard what they said. You guys are on your own now. What? Are you leaving? Yes. <laughs>
Why? What because I can. What happened to the seance? It said it's the devil again. Yeah, keep saying it multiple times. And that's why last last night when it was happening, we all decided to stop and let Elton do it himself. But while I set this up, you guys can go play a game or I can go glass. I don't know if I want to play that game. <laughs> Wait, are, we, are we seriously in a game of hide and clap right now? Yes. That's it's already started? Yes, they're already hiding. God, this guy. <laughs> you got scared. Dude, I get jump scares kill me, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Is that too Son of a bitch. We gotta play hide and clap. We didn't have enough time to actually hide. No, we gotta play hide and clap in here though. Beautiful, look at that. Feel the difference in the energy when you stepped into the circle? Yeah, definitely. This is a protection circle. Once you're inside of the circle, you'll start their seance. You will, for no reason, until I release you, step back out of that circle again. If it's a protection circle, why did we all feel heavier when we stepped in? Trust me. There's more energy inside that circle right now than there is outside of it. So you're getting, you're stepping into energy, which is going to make you feel heavier. Okay. What happens if somebody leaves without you releasing them? You break the circle. Mm -hmm. and what happens when you break the circle? It goes home. Okay. Oh. We ask one of the spirits, Penhurst, to please step inside of the circle. Communicate the only way you can. Blow the candles. Touch a hand. Whisper in an ear. Thank you. Blowing the candles. You see that too. This one here. Can you blow and make the candle light? There you go. There you go. It's going around. It's going around. Who do you want to communicate with? Point the candle flame. Pointing in a direction. Can you touch him? I feel like it's trying to talk to Elton.
Are you feeling slightly uncomfortable? Yeah. You? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Are you touching him? Are you trying to tell him something? from outside of the circle. Is that a tapping for us? I feel like my legs are being moved, like I'm being pushed. Mm. anyone in this circle with us right now or anything around the circle can you tap one time if you are a male and tap two times if you are a female Tap three times if you are neither and you're something else. Maybe you try without the light? I think so. Yeah, sure. that might be it. Do you not want to enter the circle with us? vision can't see but I see it with my eyes. Now the lights on. As soon as that noise. 
Now it's not flickering at all. It's almost like it's, it's just completely on, staying back. It's not bright enough for the camera to pick up. Maybe they're communicating, but just from afar. Uh -huh. That's what it sounds like. Seems like they don't want to come into the circle. It's okay. Oh, there you don't have to. Just appreciate the fact that they're here. Mm -hmm. Seems like our activity is picked up. So I'm going to need you to give the hands of these gentlemen. Do not step out of the circle here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three. This is the outer circle that we are now closing. One, two, three. Come closer. We close our seance tonight by saying thank you to the spirits who came to communicate with us. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before you leave, what is the number one place we should make sure? We should leave someone alone by themselves with a spare box. Most terrifying because the person has spent a lot of time here. Two rooms would work actually. Mm -hmm. You ready for a walk? Not by myself. Oh, that you definitely want to set up. Two people would work up there too. Two people? <laughs> <laughs> Cute Don't night. forget, you have to do some things too, sir. Oh, the things I want to do, you won't let me, so. I won't be here. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Why did you say once that? I, once I leave, I have no control over what you guys do. Well, once you leave, you should look up a Dybbuk box. <sighs> All right, you guys ready to play? <laughs> But it is now 207. Yeah. So again, it's 07. Yeah. 207, that's strange. So we're gonna kill some time before we basically take over the way we uh, like to do investigation. She gave me permission. Well, you, you also like to do all, Yeah, you always say we. You say we all the time. Yeah, he uses and we you're not too even much. French. Yeah, we? we? French. Yeah. So I think we're gonna set up our own seance. Except this time we're gonna do things a little bit different. Mm. But until then, Let's have a little fun. Let's get the giggles out of our system. Okay. The giggles out of our system. It's it's still not. Before it the was tears. fun at the Conjuring House. I don't know if anyone saw it, but we played hide and clap at the Conjuring House. It was just honestly fun. It's really so, fun when you're not the person looking. Right. Exactly. Let's just get a little bit of lightheartedness in us before we just go full blown investigation mode. Okay. okay. Then we're going to go over to the other building, which is the absolutely massive building. Okay. That, that's the one where we found the teddy bear. No. That's the building. All right. You ready? Thirty seconds. Yeah. Get the f out of here, you <laughs> mother. <laughs> God damn it. Scan the scan. Oh, 
kind of fun when you're not in the position I'm in right now. 15. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta come in, I gotta come in, I gotta come in. What? I heard stuff in the hallway. Use the camera to help so I don't hit into stuff. First clap. Second class. What? They're moving. One minute. That was not a minute. One minute till someone's getting locked in the base. Third class. Third class. To wall, and then we'll use this tree stump. All right, Chris Brown, right here. <laughs> wall to wall. <laughs> no. Uh huh. You don't remember that? I don't know that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Oh my God! About. I know I hear footsteps. I just don't want to run into something and fall. All right, first clap. God, that first one was not good. Oh. Second clap. Dude, I'm not going to find nobody. One minute. One minute left? Are you guys moving? What? You guys are definitely f moving. What the f Who is meowing? Third clap. You guys are moving! Yeah. <laughs> Where the f are you guys? <laughs> Where? Where? Where are you? Where? two feet behind you the whole time. <laughs> I was staying here the whole time. I stood in one spot and then just came closer. I was yeah. literally just like this on you the whole time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I heard some steps going this way. My brother's actually blind, so I have an advantage. First clap. What? Did this person over here not clap very hard? Somebody was right here. 
Is someone moving? Second clap. Are they behind a fence or something? Am I in bounds? Yep. Ah! Yes! Yes! yes. Alright, I wasted my second clap on that. Oh, you bastard. Third clap. <laughs> he is. He is. He is. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, got it. All right. Last, last one. Dude, Brandon, where are you? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Give me some, Brandon. Careful, careful. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. They're out. Oh, oh you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Okay. My first question where were you? I was right there just behind. Fence. Oh my god, dude. I was like, there's no way I could get around this. Dude, I had to stop breathing because I knew I was just gonna lie. Yeah. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> what did you see that you were jumping like yeah. this? <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. When I went over there, I, where, where were you, Corey? I was just standing in the middle <laughs> of the grass. I felt something like above me, so I went like this. I was like jumping above me because I thought... Were, it looked like he was break dancing in the I middle of the yard. <laughs> we're gonna take... Exactly what Deidre had us do. Except this time, um, we're gonna change up what happens in the middle. And do what she did not want to do. Okay. No, I'll be honest, she was very fond of what I wanted to do. She just didn't want to be here when it happened. I, That's so exactly. weird. This is like her second home. Hello. 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 Stay seat. I really don't think that you should open that. Uh, we've been saying it now for... Like I'm being for real, for real, for real. Like for real, for real. That is like, a... That is like... Have we said what it is? That's a Dimmick box, right? Dimmick. Dimmick box. Dimmick box, yeah. If anyone didn't watch the Execution Rocks videos, I have the Dimmick box from The Conjuring House that was given to me, as well as this one that I had to track down and this one is no ordinary Dybbuk box. This one was manifested. This one is what you, different. What does that mean? This what one didn't mean? happen to be a Dybbuk box that maybe someone thought a demon was in. So a gathering of witches. A gathering of witches. A gathering of 12 witches all got together and took all of their negative energies, all of their negative spirits, any form of attachments they might have had through an item put the item into here. Why would you want to open it and after that? And they sealed it shut, knowing that if you were to open it, you could set free. Did you hear that? What might be in it? Do you know what's in it? I have no idea what's in it. I'll be honest. I thought I knew what alphabet this was, and I don't. I don't actually know what it says. It was supposed to be in Theban. So what, I don't know what that is. I use my key translator. I can't figure out what it says. It. But this is made out of silver. Significantly stronger. How Think about the USS Salem, right? They said metal. What's your plan? What do you want to do with it? Well, I would say we should invite a spirit in, but I don't think we need to. If we already brought one in here, I don't think this isn't a spirit. It should stay within here. But it's not a spirit. So you done your research on Dybbuk boxes, correct? Correct. What happens when you open them to the person that opens it? There are only two known tales. One is Zach Bagan's box, right? And that story leads back to someone who got it in an estate sale, and then he gifted it to someone, and then his, I believe, mother-in-law opened it and had a stroke. Dog. Then the person who then went to buy it for $280 apparently started having health complications. Older gentleman, the mother that had a stroke was a very 
elder lady. Could be pure coincidence. I don't think that's the next be. person that bought it then had health problems. Could be pure coincidence. Dak Bagan was get, able to get his hands on it. And then that's where it leads with Post Malone. <clears throat> that's the main one. The other one is the other Divic box that I have in the car right now. Both of those have a history attached. This does not. So if you want to prove that Divic boxes are real, this one, if it has an effect, they're real. Yeah, but you want to prove if it doesn't. Real. If it doesn't have an effect, then it's all just pure coincidence. Is it going to affect all of us in the circle, even if we don't touch it and you're the only one that opens it? Or does it only affect the person that opens it? There's no way he's gonna know. There is no way to know. Like, that's why I don't like this I agree. at all. You know that, you, I mean, I, well, I don't know if you know, you know that I 100% believe that we have gotten dozens of attachments and we have gotten more and more haunted, or at least I've gotten more haunted. I, I live in a new house right now and I'm haunted as in that house. This is gonna make what, 100 times worse? Like this is like, you open this, oh, now you could possibly die. All right, let's try and communicate without touching it, though. Let's just try and communicate without touching it. Okay. But you're going to open it. Yeah. Give it a minute. See if I feel like we need something good here to protect us from whatever or it is. You don't need more than I have, my friend. Divi boxes? No. Seances? Yeah. What? 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 What time is it? It's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is like the witch's hour. But you know what that means? And we have a witch's Dybbuk box. But you know what that and means? And that just fell. I mean, in five minutes, I'm gonna crack that open. You're opening it at 3.07? Ah, oh, dude, don't do that. Don't do that. Can I ask you, can I ask you a serious question? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh. That was the exact oh. noise again. Oh, I'm opening this at That was the exact Noise. I'm opening this at 3.07. My eyes are getting watery, dog. Uh -huh. My eyes are getting watery right now. Am I gonna go look? No. Uh-uh. Anyone wanna go take it? We can't leave the circle. Uh-uh. We if can't leave the circle. We stay in the circle. Okay. You, you can step out of the circle. When you open the Dibby box, can I leave the circle before you open it? Or do we have to be in it while you open it? You can leave. Okay, yeah? Yeah? You can leave. As long as you're in the circle. But that means you're gonna be outside the protection of the circle. But four minutes. Is it even a protecting circle anymore if the demons are in the circle? Don't know. No one's ever opened a Dybbuk box inside of the Seyon circle before. It's 305. So if you guys want to leave, now's the time. I think I might step out of the circle. I don't know. I mean this is like an experiment. If Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Um, I, dude, I don't know what to do. I think I am gonna step out. Yeah. Say goodbye. Does he take his? You candle? have to take your candle. You say goodbye, and it says hello. So I say goodbye and blow this out, and, and then I start outside. It's yeah. three o six. Three o six. One minute. I'm opening. Yeah. One minute. goodbye. Okay. Yeah, hello. Goodbye. I don't know if I want to step stay. out. Step out first, and then blow it out. I don't know if I want to stay for this. I don't know if I want to stay for this. Oh, there's a there's a candle burned out of the circle. Oh, that candle went out behind you. The candle Where did you get behind this? Elton. Where went did out. you get this? Where did you get this? Should we put another candle right here? No, is that not weird that <sighs> Elton's candle is the only one? Is it out? out? But here's the thing. What the one behind Elton went out. But that means that this is not a protection circle. Oh yeah, we should Elton. Elton, we should get another candle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, where's the lighter at? 30 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. You, you have, have a lighter. lighter. I got a lighter. I got a lighter. 306. Right here, right here. Yeah, but then we have to replace it with this one. Goodbye. Yeah. Fifteen. 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 Fifte
What the f is that? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. Oh, it has a it has a smell to it. I don't Ooh. want to, I don't want to smell it. What is that stuff? Is that a bag? The candle went out. Dude. Elvis the candle went out. One, man. Attaches to the person that is the most suitable for whatever the mission is that they're hoping to accomplish. What is that? No, oh, why? 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 Oh, are you serious? He just did he just do that? Did you hear that? Elton! Oh my god. Okay, see, okay, no, I'm serious. Okay, yeah. I'm glad. What, what the I want some real, bro. That's actually really messed up. Don't, do dude, seriously, I don't know if you should be. No, opening the divot box is one thing, but burning what's inside it, dude, that's that's like really. That's messed why, up. Why? What's the point? I don't understand. Because now I can never put the box back the way it was. So then it's always gonna be different. And whatever's in it's out. This entire room has gotten a very different vibe now. Uh-huh. Does anyone want a piece of skull? Nope, you're in the thing. Jeez. Oh, another candle went out. God damn it. Elton, the camps keep burning out, man. There's no way I just see you. you doing this? Dude! Get that big candle and seal it back up. Oh, he's actually- No, no, you can't take that off! Isn't that a bit weird? <laughs> No, no, no. Isn't that a bit weird? That's a what? candle. That's that's one it's of those things that put out a candle. It's meant to put out candles. Elton, you can't put out the candles on the end. That's that's you. There's three candles oh, out right now. Oh around you, Elton. Oh, God. There's that's three candles out. For? Exactly what this is meant for. Oh, 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 oh. Elton. Hey, I'm gonna go over here. Something just touched me. What? Something just touched me. Okay, well, I'm not leaning against the pillar. I swear to God, they just touched my back. Are you serious? Stayed in that circle while he did it. Yeah, we gotta go. You should have. It's gonna help me put the candles out faster. You're such a psycho! Let's go. Dude, Corey's still over there. Corey, come down there, bud. What's up, Corey? How do you feel? Do you dance moves? Do you still feel the same? Do you feel any different? Do you feel like you're gonna puke? I am just. I didn't. 
anything. You know? Like, I... What? I didn't... What? I literally told you I was going to open it at 307, and I precisely waited for 307. I knew you that I knew that you were gonna open it, but I just like what the fuck is gonna happen to us? Like know. we we don't know what's going to happen to us until it happens. That's crazy. It, it that's could called life. It could be like six months down the road. Yeah, that's called and, life. <laughs> that's that's not, literally how is that life. called life. This problem is you that you opened, like, you opened a cursed yeah. box. No. No. Witches didn't curse that box and no. put a demon inside of it. No. You opened it with all of us in a circle or all of us around you. No. The demon attaches to whoever it wants to in the room, whoever you know is the most what whoever's the most scared of it or whoever it would take the most advantage of like you were Suitable saying. Suitable for like Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's literally what you said. What if it's what if it's attached to me? Two minutes after you opened it, I felt something touch me on the back. Okay. I thought I ran into the pillar, but there's nothing behind me. And we're also... How do I not know that that was it not entering me? And now you guys are fine, but two months down the road, I'm f That's called life. And How one, is that called one life? never said demon spirit. It's a trapped spirit in a box, but people use Divic boxes primarily to trap demons. You can't just forcibly put... Think about it, it's 12 witches. That's a coven, it's 12 witches. You think there's 12 different demons? You think all 12 of these witches had a demon inside and shoved it in there? No, they just got rid of their negative energy and put it into this little contraption and said, Ugh, if you ever open it, all my negative energy is gonna disappear. You don't know what the f their negative energy is. There's only two in the entire world that have any credibility to them and I have the other one in the car. The other one is locked in a museum behind inches of plexiglass. There's only two. So do you think that this is something that's real? You don't you think there'd be a lot more of them? Don't you think they'd be used a lot more often? If you can put a spirit into a Divic box, then why don't all of these different paranormal investigators do that? There's only two. So I tracked one down that apparently was used by a coven, and they put all these items in there, and if you open it up, all hell's gonna break loose. Maybe. I just, I, like, is, is there paperwork or something that says, like, it's a, you, you know, dude, all I'm thinking is that it was a f demon. I, I just, I, I just don't it. know how it I read be. it at the island. They literally wrote me a description of what it was, and I read it right in front of all of you. The reason why we're so afraid of this thing is because we've seen, what, Post Malone, car accidents, yeah. we've seen health problems. Well, fine. Yeah, but the thing is, the whole reason why this is a thing is because everybody, their, their main association is with the Dybbuk box. You're talking about three people, three people over a 15 year span that had something bad happen to them. One who was already basically preemptively found to have a stroke, another one who was just in his older years, and someone who travels a ton. And that's your entire basis for this fear. That's exactly why I did it. That is the exact reason why I bought the thing, and I spent so much money on it, and I cracked it open. Because what are we here for? We're here to see if there's truly investigation, right? If there's truly evidence of the afterlife, if there's truly evidence of paranormal activity or spirits. Well, if there is, guess what? And that thing's real, I just flooded the gates with it. Like, it could have been like, a, you know, a, a, a normal soul, like a good person, but yeah. they just got f***ed and put in that box. Basically. Why would witches do that? How do we know if it's a demon or if it's something good? Here, let's put it this way. If it was a demon, you think we'd all just be chilling here like this right now? It's fair. All right. And if not, yeah. if nothing negative happens, well then it's bull. Okay. I just wasted a bunch of money and burnt a couple of pieces of paper and put out some candles. I feel like there's gonna be some activity, man. Let's do it. I think we should. Okay. Let's go. Devon building. But can I say something? If the ovulus or if anything starts shouting more devil shit, yeah. then that is a because I think that it said devil earlier. It did. Uh, because we had it. a spirit box with us. Yeah. yeah. It also said devil yesterday. Yeah. It said it again today. 
Yeah. And you've had the Dybbuk box. The I only thought. way, the only way that I will believe that that Dybbuk box is not haunted is if we go in there and it's like, hey, everything's good. I'm just a normal ghost. Sunshine not rainbows. It's like the Casper. devil. Corey's f***ed. It's Casper. gonna die. What happened with the bear last time? The bear. On the bear. On the bear. Yeah, and it continued to. We moved the bear and it went off. No matter where it was, it no was matter the bear. Where it was, it was yeah. the bear. So did you have the most activity in this building? Yeah. This was we just had a lot of activity in the other building. And now we're going into this one. You guys have... Let's hope it's, uh, I don't know. We're gonna, gonna do this. First off, Elton has to go first. Did you guys leave it here? Yeah, we left we it We put it somewhere, I think we left it in Mayflower. No? <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't leave it on the bed? No, uh, we remember we walked around with it for the whole night. Yeah, we put it in a thumbnail. different building. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. It's literally in the thumbnail. It's the EVP. So, electronic voice phenomenal. Oh, it oh. broke. And it breaks right then and there. Oh, no. He's got a oh. hold on it. doesn't want you to wear it, my friend. But regardless, if you think there's a, anything attached to you, we're here talking to you all night. Ooh, all right. Three of you owe a long time. Oh, no. Oh my I god. I don't know. I, I, don't, I actually don't know. Especially Thanks. after that, man. Yo. Again, Nana, Nana, near. Nana, near. I feel like it's always like a little girl just. It's like a child. Man. Look at the goosebumps on my arms right now, bro. That's oh how scared God, I get. Dude. Look at that room. I forgot that room. Just what the like a, What is that? Nana near or Nana near? Uh, I think our definition of cool might wow. be. Wow. Look how sweet that is. What? Jeez, that's right. Oh, you locked us in there. Shut the f up! I was about to do it to. Thank you so much, Corey. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Corey. Dude, he was Thank really so about much. to go in. Wow. <laughs> he was about to crawl in Thank there. Thank you, Corey. Thank Wait. God. Dude, I'm sorry I had a flashback of PTSD, Elton. Why is that so creepy? Like it goes, it's oh like in between two. Oh my god, two. I was about to do it to him. <laughs> Jesus. Wait. Uh, what? Slower 40. Chief reveal. Slower 40 chief reveals. Oh. What does that even mean? I have no idea. There's no association you can get with that. What? Oh yeah, Brandon, check that one out. Yeah. That one actually doesn't close so. Huh? What do you mean it doesn't close? That door doesn't close all the way. You sure? Yeah. Alright then, yeah. Good, Brandon, good. Check it out. Go ahead, what's in there? We gotta make sure there's no one in here. I need a light. You dig it. Good. Do you want the spirit box? I want the spirit box. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's the place. You know what? Yeah. It's time. It's not time. We just got in here, dude. Is it time? I think it's time. I think that might be a good time for him. In the words of Ruth Buffer. It's the smallest. It's time! Is that how he sounds yeah, like? It's so not loud. what he sounds like at all. That's why he's got the job. Haven't I know? So loud. Factory. Oh, God. Factory's last. Little September last. Day. This is for all the people that watch the live stream that really requested this. So, do you really want to let down the viewers? Okay. Sure. All the people that make these adventures Listen. possible. I really appreciate everybody on the live stream. Except for the person who requested no, 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 that no, I go no. to the person. There was a few too. people who requested that I personally go alone somewhere in a room by myself with the spirit box. And we agreed before the live stream that anything somebody said on the super chats, we would do. So, I'm a man on my word, even though I don't want to be right now. Uh, do you want to put five minutes on the clock, anyone? Five! That's what we said, five minutes. No, yes, there was never time. a time discussed. That's, that's a lot of time. There's definitely a time. I have time on my camera. What's in there? I forgot about that. Okay, well, let's see. 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 Let's
think of it as if you're being hazed, you know? Yeah, exactly. This is what I had to go through when I first came to Vegas. Except you get possessed at the end. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're in the right spot. Where's the um, right about there. Have a sit down there. That's good. Hi, buddy. Time starts now. Huh? Time starts now. Yeah. yeah. See, now you know how I know what feel. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. <laughs> Is there anybody in this building with us? Oh, wait, I gave my light to him. Oh. Is there anybody in this building? Is there anything evil with us tonight? Fucking. Okay, oh, fucking good shit. The fuck out of you. No, 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 no. Alton, you son of a bitch. Alton? Alton? Jesus, Elton. <laughs> How long do you think you're in there for? Uh, I don't. It's a solid, solid first date for you. I'd say like two, two minutes. minutes. Okay. <laughs> best. I can take two minutes. That's it. I'm, that's we'll round up to five. Jesus Christ, that was a lot. Yeah. What, what happened? What did you hear? In I kept seeing. You saw stuff? Yeah, and I was. I don't know. I wasn't getting good answers. We heard you freaking out, and then we came back. We were actually gonna leave for a little while. Yeah. I, if I would have came out and nobody was out here, that would have been. We heard you freaking out, so we put that in front of it so you couldn't get out. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we thought it would help you. Thank you. To one location. Fear yeah, it fear. makes sense. Yeah, erratic fear is where you get hurt. That's what happened to your eye. As I was asking a question, I could just, like almost see in there, like from the tiny, tiny red, like the red lights on this thing. And I just like saw something move across and it just, dude, it freaks me out, man. Like if you guys are there and I see some stuff, it freaks me out, but I can handle it. But if I'm by myself locked in a tiny little room like that, that's too much. Okay, uh, this is where we this found the bear. This is yeah. where we found the bear. <laughs> this is where it got really It was scared. on the left, right? Yeah, it was on the left side. Where is the K2? It was right here. Yes, oh. here's the beds. Ooh. Quarter's probably the same part. Save first. Yeah, save first. Look at the glass. So much glass. Oh, dude. It's like a, it used to be a record player. Yeah, well, I like that. Did you just hear that? Did you guys hear that? What'd you hear? It was a. You guys didn't hear that? Hmm. No. Hmm. You heard that? I heard right? that, yeah. Did anything come up on the uh, Oculus? No. Still my love, but that is so scary. That was over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a parlor in. Over where? Down. Back right. Yeah. I think that's what we want to hunker down. So let's just hunker down for a spot and let's actually just concentrate everything in one area. This is where we found the bear. On this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. All right. Let's see if there's anything here. We didn't even have. 
Let's see if there's anything here. Do. Do. Well, you heard both of those, right? We didn't have any of these tools when we were here the first no, time. No, we didn't. No. We didn't have any. We had a K2. Oh, we just had was a K2. We just had a K2. Tell me that was you. Yeah. You just, that was you breathing, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, that was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus <sighs> Christ. Oh my. All right. We're scaring ourselves. We're no, scaring we're exhaling for Brandon. Brandon doesn't get to exhale anymore. No, yeah, bro. Stop breathing. Okay. No. Holy f Yeah, seriously. No carbon dioxide for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Right to the cage. You keep saying 40. Is that the age one of us is gonna die? Oh. Did you die when you were 40? Officially. 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 If you can give us. Any form of a sign using any of the devices here. There's a pod you can try to free energy, the K2, any of it. Okay, You're in control. You're in control. What do you want to tell us? Don't let me go home. Um. Do you know what these are? Can you say thousand rod? Go to hell. Go to hell? I heard it's going down. Going down? Do you want us to keep trying to communicate with you? Did you want one? If you are a good spirit, can you make these rods cross on top of each other? If you are an evil spirit, can you make the rods cross outwards? Very evil. That's good. That's good. That good. good. Yeah. Can you open the rods for me? Put them back straight. Come on. Jeez. I can't believe how fast these rods work for me. From when I first did them to now. That's why I prefer them. The street box is a guessing game. Yeah. It's so hard to decipher what it's saying. Only time to go. It's almost five in the morning. Oh jeez, really? It's been an hour here. Where should we do it? It literally just said within. What did it say? Within. Within? Mm -hmm. I said, where should we do it? And it just immediately Mike's said within. within right here. Yeah, we gotta rip this open. You gotta do it then. Yeah, we're not. We're still here. Do you want them to leave? And it just be me and you talking? We gotta go. You're on your own, man. Yeah, we gotta go. I don't, I don't want to be here alone. I can't do it alone. I can't be by myself. The me. main thing that you need to remember though, is that you asked it. You said, is this a good spirit or is this a bad spirit? Yeah, that's true. It says it's a good spirit. Yeah, but. You know you're dealing with a good spirit. Anything can lie, anything can lie. It could be a bad spirit acting like a good spirit, waiting, wanting me to be alone. Help me It'll be the first time ever. It would be the worst time ever. I mean, 
How about this? Look at the room. Look at all the walls, right? Uh-huh. You can clearly hear us through all of these. They're all broken. We'll be just... Down the other room. We yeah. can each go to different parts of this around you, too. If I yell for you guys or anything... Oh, yeah, of course. I've been taking to me. Yeah. I don't yeah. lock a door. Don't put nothing in front of a door so I can't get out. Like, if I'm actually going to do this, like I... Elton's already looked for all that stuff. I'll... And I don't think there is one. No. I'll... I, I just think, for your sake, for you conquering a fear... And plus, that's what a lot of the people wanted. Also, I think it'll just confirm that... Yeah. That little Divic box, that Divic tin, Divic tray, Divic sphere, is whatever. Okay. All right. All right, we're going? Yeah. Which way? That way? That way? Yeah, we'll be right over here. Okay. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Two minutes. Two minutes. Make it five. 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 Make it five. Two. Come on, you, you got to give the spirits time to answer your questions. We're going over here. If there is anything in here, or anyone in here, that wants to talk to me now that I'm alone in my now that I'm alone and by myself. Can you cross these rods and let me know? If you were if you were an adult Make them cross. If you were a child, make them spin outwards. You think it's gonna last? I think you will. Yeah. But I think we'll be proud of himself next time. But I feel bad not showing him what the ovulus was saying. That's right. What did it say again? Let me see real quick. It still says it. Yeah? It doesn't say anything else. Alright. Well, let's just be quiet. Let's do this thing. If you were younger than 10, make the rods cross. If you were older than 10, make them spin out. I wish I had a device or something that could let you try to talk to me through words so I can know your name. Um, if you die here, make the rods cross. Can you uncross the rods for me? Stuck here, can you please make the rod spin? Guys, guys, please come back. Guys, please come back. Guys, what happened? The noises over there and the rod started spinning. Like the rod was going fast as right as I asked it something, and then noises came from over there. Right as I asked, bro. Dude, I can handle the rods, but I can't handle these freaking things. It literally sounded like it was like... Okay, no, that's not even what it sounded like. Ugh. Okay, we good? Am I done? Can I be done? Dude, you did it, dude. Dude, look at my arm right now, bro. You are. Jesus. Yeah. How long was that? 
five minutes. Maybe about five minutes. Yeah. yeah, it's close. I, I honestly, I can't remember what I asked it. I can't. But I just started hearing noises over there, like something was getting closer. Like it wasn't just a tap. It was yeah. like noise, 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 like all Jesus. in once. Like multiple different noises at the same time, going one after another. Yeah. I'll be honest. I feel like we need to find more reliable ways. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Better before we do another investigation. There's too much just erraticness. I yeah. think like having three things at once works. Like, how many times do we like show up to investigate with people and they keep bringing out things and I'm like, I didn't know that existed. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't know that existed. Exactly. It's yeah. like I think before we investigate again, we need to do a serious amount oh, of, of just research in general. Like, yeah. do you think how we can afford it? that? The cat balls? Yeah, I think so. I might have to sell a dog bone or two, but <laughs> I think I think we can get it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but like the fact that there's all these different tools and I'm not even like every time I'm like oh what's yeah. what is this a geo what was it called a geo geo uh, geotag geo, like, no no geopod yeah. geopod like a geopod, geopod. and there's like cat geopod. balls and like geopod. we have time before the next trip yeah I think there needs to be a serious amount of homework done yeah and trying to find proven scientific tools yeah not this guessing game of demons in a box and yeah. yeah and you know maybe actually meet with people that do partake in black magic oh no I said meet with not yeah. practice I, don't, I still don't know about that I don't that, know that's either. pretty sketch you gotta keep in mind that the paranormal element of things is not since the paranormal activity movies came out this is something that is thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands, if not infinitely, years old. Yeah, but then we're gonna kind of go into where it's it's religion, man. I mean, like people. But I'm not saying to practitioner with them. I'm saying to meet and understand. And to see their Think about how much we learn every single time we work with a different paranormal investigator. True. Oh, officially. Thank God. Ooh. Out and about. Look at that underneath. Grass boys, round two. That was a weird one. That is a weird one, man. I'm so glad that after the Divic box, we didn't see anything. Oh, I like, thought after the Divic box, we were gonna have a lot of like crazy right. bad activity. Yeah. Nothing. You know. You're actually yeah. right about that. I think I think we really need to take more time. <laughs> hey. Five in the morning. That's five o'clock. Wow. Um. Yeah, I think we gotta take more time and maybe look deeper into the roots yeah. of all of this. Yeah. Maybe the divot box that you got was a bull one or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I did a ton of research on it and like I tracked down like the coven it came from and they exist. They're a real coven, but maybe we should go. Uh, go meet go? with them? Yeah. Well, we meet with the coven? if anything, I'd rather meet with a different one. But I like the idea. I truly do. Yeah. How amazing would it be if we could actually watch one? Dude. I would love to, I would love to understand it. I would not want to be a part of it. I agree with that. Should we leave it here? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. It's stuck. Yeah. Wax. Melted it in there. The wax melted it in there just like the big box should have. What do you think? Leave it? I want to leave it here, no. No. Because what if a little kid finds it, bro? You don't want... Okay. Like, I still don't know. We shouldn't even be touching this. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, appreciate you sticking around and watching to the end of this video. This one has been a journey. Yeah. Uh, this, this one was weird. This one started with our first live stream from a location to meeting someone who does professional investigations. Yeah. Taught us how to do a seance. I replicated a seance and brought in... Whatever this is, I, I don't know, maybe I fell for a really good yeah. advertising trap. It's our uh, longest investigation. I will pray that that's yeah. what happened. I mean, this was the most credible thing I could find on the internet that was for sale. I mean, and I dug and I dug and I went through Reddit and I went through every possible avenue I could find and this is the most credible thing I could find. It but, had some nasty stuff in it, man. Yeah, I mean, it has, it has some cool stuff. Like, it, I'm still not touching that. So. You know, we did the thing. The investigation itself was kind of, we had some cool moments. Yeah. yeah. And some, I mean, most of what we did by ourselves in the other place is just 
nothing really there. Yeah. Not too crazy, so, but but I, I agree. Tomorrow I'm gonna return the other Divic box back to where it belongs. Oh, thank God. I mean, I don't think it's in the right hands with us. Uh, yeah, I, agree. I like that idea. And uh, I truly think that before we set off on our next road trip for videos, we need to. I, I'm personally gonna do a lot more homework on. What other yeah. tools are we missing? What other information are we missing? Yeah. And just really try and make sure that when we're going to these places, we're doing the best job we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And on top For of that, sure. I think we should start looking at some more places that are more exploration based. Mm, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of places that like take some serious work to get to. And I'm not yeah. talking mm -hmm. about like breaking into an abandoned building. No. I'm talking about like to actually start venturing to some places that not many people have ever been to before. Yeah. Yeah. In addition, in addition to the investigations, for sure, that. for sure. Yeah. You know, like what? There's some crazy places in Europe. There are Europe. Some. Yeah. You want to go to Europe? You want to go to Europe? Yeah. I mean, there's Hellhole. I've heard uh, Hellhole. What's Hellhole? Hellhole is just a crazy place in general. There's no haunted history to it, but I can oh. take you there, but I can't promise that we'll make it to the bottom. What's Hellhole? Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. It's exactly what it sounds Dude, like. Dude, there are yeah. so many places out there that we haven't seen, so I think maybe let's start diversifying the trips a little bit too. Yeah. Let's set a big marquee place to investigate, but... Yep. To start looking for some cooler adventures along the way. I mean, that's what TFIO was from the get go. That's yeah. true. We gotta mix it back in. New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> let's mix it all in. There's some haunted stuff in let's, New Zealand. Let's set a, a goal at the end of the trip, but let's have some fun along the way, man. I agree. Think yeah. about how much fun just hide and clap was. That is. That's. Uh, that is. You know, I mean, it was terrifying when it's you're terrifying. blindfolded. Yes. You know? I'm just saying this. I think maybe starting tomorrow, there might be an amusement park we know of. What? Yeah. Ooh. American Dream? No. They DM'd and they said we can come and do whatever we want at their park. Oh, that's tomorrow? A... I think tomorrow. Oh. Is, this our, think, is this our present? I think it's a nice for... treat. I think it's a nice yes. treat. Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? Is that our yeah. present? They're literally giving us full access to the water park. I mean, this place is insane. Oh, oh so, fuck yeah. My God, that is such a perfect ending. So let's go get some sleep. <laughs> And let's yes. drive out there tomorrow. They open okay. at noon. I don't think we're going to be awake by then. No, but, no. All right. We'll get there uh, at 2. 